Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is an overview of the difference between version 1 and version 2 in terms of the layers that they use and the visuals within that. And there will be other videos which will go into other aspects of layers in more detail. So I'm doing it kind of carefully and slowly because particularly for beginners, layers can be pretty tricky. And with the changes, there are some subtle things in there that even experienced people uh, I found were quite useful to know. Anyway, let's go. So in this, you've got the icon for the image here. This, by the way, is the medium size. And you've got the name. The, the first image is generally called background. It's a pixel type. There's a lock to stop you changing it. If you want to, you can click that to turn it on, click to turn it on, and checkbox here, and click on that, and it becomes invisible. So you just see the checkerboard, and turn it on, and you can see it. In comparison, version 2 looks like this. So in that space on the left, there's a little kind of icon there and that kind of shows you that this is a pixel layer and the reason it says this is a pixel layer is because out here there's nothing if you just sort of hover over it your, your mouse might go over top of the pixel so if you go into the bottom and then move up you've got space you can see what it says over here you also got a lock so works the same and the toggle visibility here is a different icon but does exactly the same thing if you take a paintbrush and you draw on the image, shock horror, then you get a little brush pops up here. And if you click on that, that tells you the brush that you've used. And you can also reselect it from there to use it elsewhere. So even if you control Z, get rid of the painting, that brush still remains. So you can always go back to it. So that's no bad thing. On version one, we've got to add a layer now. So go down to the adjustments here and let's put in recolor. And it's colored it red there. This doesn't change. You can see this has indented here. And if I click on that, then this appears here. So you can open it and close it. If I click on the container, the parent image, then it all goes blue. If I then look at the next one here so this is version 2 and we'll do that in version 2 add the recolor here it starts off that it's alongside here click on the similarly here now this is slightly different to the version 1 so it's not indented as much because there's a little vertical line here to show that the level and you'll get more lines across here if you're indent more levels this little one here so when I hover over it, it say it says recolor adjustments, which tells you what it is, because if you rename this, the name will disappear. This can be a bit of a problem if you've got a lot of these, because you can't see on here what it is. You have to know what the symbol here is. So that is a difference with this. If I click on the top one now, here the pixel image, then you can see that that there just shows this. It doesn't show this. Uh, in blue so it's just that layer and if I click the bottom layer then you can see the parent layer is highlighted in not quite so bright a blue so now let's go to the back to version one select that recolor layer there so I imagine I just put that in now if I go to add an adjustment something like black and white it's appeared up here and this is something that's a little bit confusing if you don't know what's happening here. Because if I go to the assistant manager here, then let's bring that over here. And it says adding adjustment layer to selection, add adjustment as child layer. Well, that's what happened when I did the recolor. But when I did the black and white, it appeared at the top. And the reason for that will be shown in a moment because otherwise I could say add adjustment as new layer and it will all be on the top. If I go to version 2 now and I've got recolor selected and I add a black and white, that also goes to the top. 
But it's explained here, if I go to the System Preferences, the, the preferences are inside this group. And here you've got the Add Adjustment based on Selection. And that really is more accurately with what's happening because I was over here, I had the recolor selected. And what happens is when I try to add another selection to this, it says, hey, you're trying to make an adjustment to an adjustment. That doesn't work. So I'm just going to stick it at the top here as a new layer. So that instead of talking about it as being a child, it now says as a selection, but it's really the same thing. They both do that. Now then, let's go back to version one again. And look at what happens here if I drag this down. So if I want to drag this into here, if I drag it down to the bottom, it's now at the same level as the image here, so it's not make, having any effect. It's not making it black and white. So I undo that. If I drag it down to on top of the icon there, I get a little vertical blue bar there. So if I let go of that, then it's put it in at the same level as this. So that black and white, it's now black and white, is on top of the recolor. So it does the recolor, then it does the black and white. I'll undo that. I can also drag it in here over the text and I get a horizontal line. And that horizontal line, if I let go of that, it's put it sort of half indented into this. And I'm going to talk about this in another video, what all this is for. But for now, just notice how it's slightly different. But it's still done it. It's done it as a, from the bottom up, it always works from the bottom up. It did a black and white. And then it did a recolor, which is why this is now in red. Also in this, if I undo it and I drag it onto the left hand side here, now I've got a blue bar all the way across. And if I let go of that, that's gone all the way to the bottom again. So it's not being used. So I've just got the recolor of the whole thing to red. So if I look at this here, in version two, then I just get rid of that so you can see what's going on here. So I take that black and white adjustment layer. If I drag it down on top of the icon there, so the background's now gone to the top and the black and white is now on top here with the recolor underneath. So it did a recolor, then converted to black and white. So that's worked there. And you see this, this vertical bar here, which shows what is part of that like background group is it's clipped to that. It's in there. So both of those are there. Control Z to undo, to put that back up at the top again. If I drag it over the name, then you notice as you hover over it, it actually implements it. So you can see the preview and let go. It's now appeared here with it's in the same things happen. It's gone black and white and then it's recolored it uh, like it should do. We, we expect it to. But now it's got a little horizontal blue bar here. And that horizontal blue bar effectively has the same effect as that half indented, fully indented. This is about the clipping and masking layers, which we're going to talk about in another video. But for now, it actually doesn't matter because it does the bottom, it does the top. Doesn't matter that there's a horizontal bar in there. So that's the major elements of looking at these and understanding what these mean. In the next video, we're going to look a lot more about moving these around and dragging them and how you get them from A to B, which can be a little bit of a pain. But once you know what is happening, that works fine. And after that, we'll do another video in which we're going to talk about this clipping and editing and what this horizontal line means. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.